Hi everybody, Marty Parks again, welcoming you to this latest edition of Word Music's Digital Reading Sessions. You know, we did this last year for our, our seasonal projects and for our choral books and got a lot of positive feedback from that. And Some of you suggested, why can't we do this for anthems as well? So, we heard you and here we are. I want to show you some of our latest Easter anthems for this year think you're going to love them. Here's I'm Singing, arranged by Gary Rose. You'll recognize the, uh, the writers that contributed to all of this, but Gary's included a solo, children's choir, and a full-voiced adult choir. think you're going to love I'm Singing. Okay, Daniel Simpson's arrangement of Let the Nations Be Glad really is a unique, one-of-a-kind setting. It's ideal for raising the consciousness of your congregation, for world missions, for what the church can be doing across the globe. It even includes a little bit of an African folk song, and that whole world music rhythmic vibe is going on all through this. I think you're going to like Let the Nations Be Glad.
Undying Love, arranged by Mark McClure. You're, you're really going to appreciate the accessible writing, the straight-ahead message to this, and the unforgettable lyric. Here's Undying Love. With loving kindness, tried every tear, and I can see you bearing all my shame on the cross. I can hear you cry out, it is done, it is done. oh Jesus, your sacrifice was more than enough, in your Tracing the steps of Jesus from his birth, through his crucifixion, to his resurrection. Here's Russell Malden's arrangement of Something's Happening. Keith and Kristen Getty sure have been um, welcome contributors to the modern hymnology of the church. Here's one of their latest, arranged by Robert Sterling, Beneath the Cross. Yeah. 
If you're looking for something a little bit different for Palm Sunday, something that has a little rhythmic drive, something that uh, is appropriate for a processional, here's Blessed Be, arranged by Robert Sterling. Blessed be, blessed be, blessed be, he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed be, blessed be, blessed be, he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed be, blessed be, blessed be, he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed be, blessed be, blessed be, he who comes in the name of the Lord. He who comes in the name of the Lord. Let Hosannas be lifted high. Here is praising the true Messiah. Blessed be, blessed be, blessed be. Sons and daughters of Abraham, lift your voices and sing Hosanna. Blessed be, blessed be, oh, blessed, blessed, be, be. Blessed, be blessed be, blessed be, blessed be. Blessed be, blessed be, blessed be. He who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed be, blessed be, blessed be. He who comes in the name of the Lord. From Jesus' side, a modern hymn that our friend Russell Maldon has taken and, as you might expect, creatively arranged it to be accessible for almost any choir. I think you're going to appreciate From Jesus' Side. Born of wounds from Adam's side, given to the man of right. They made a tryst with sin and died, and birth the fall of all mankind. Born of wounds from Jesus' side, saints of God and heirs with Christ, the veil was torn. Creation cried, the bride was born from Jesus' side. Now born again and clothed in white, crowned with glory just in white, a child of wrath is brought to I love the combination of, uh, of a great gospel song, like Andre Crouch's The Blood Will Never Lose Its Power, combined with a great classic hymn, like Grace Greater Than Our Sin. So here's those two in combination.
that sense of gratitude and wonder over the transaction that occurred at Calvary, well then we've lost something vital to our life. Here's O Sweet Exchange, arranged by Philip Kevin. is one of those newer songs that uh, your congregation is going to pick up real quick and they're going to want to sing it along with the choir. I think you'll see why. Here's Robert Sterling's All Because of the Cross. seasons in our calendar, but also for those special Sundays and observances like communion and like the Lenten season. Here's Camp Kirkland's arrangement of Grateful. Draw me. 
Sometimes when you take a, a familiar hymn text and you couple it with a new tune, and you combine that then with a popular worship song, well then the whole message takes on a new life, a new vitality. So here's Jesus paid it all with a little bit of above all. For nothing good am I Whereby thy grace to claim I will wash my garments white In the blood of Calvary's land Jesus paid it all Adore Him is one of those unique anthems that has two texts to it, one for Christmas, one for Easter, and that's why we're including it here, of course. A little phrase from, O Come Let Us Adore Him, ties all of this together in a worship song arranged by Robert Sterling, Adore Him. Thank you. 
was finished on the cross, arranged by Larry Goss, was one that we actually showed you back in the spring and the summer, but it was just too good to pass up this time around because it has wonderful, perfect applications for the Easter season. Here's It Was Finished on the Cross. Some of you saw Daniel Simpson's arrangement of Savior this past Christmas, and lots of you used it. But I think you'll agree it has application far beyond just the Christmas story. It's the life of Christ, the impact of the Messiah, in one dynamic arrangement. Here's Savior.
Well, thanks for joining us in this very first anthem edition of Word Music's digital reading session. As always, we're honored to be partners with you in your ministry, and we'll see you next time.